In the first question, we're asked to simplify the square root of 28. We can factor 28 into 7 times 4. Since the square root of 4 is a perfect square, we can rewrite this as the square root of 7 times 2, or in standard form, 2 times the square root of 7. In the second item, we have the square root of 50x squared. Let's go ahead and write the square root of 50 as the square root of 25 times the square root of 2, all multiplied by the square root of x squared. Since 25 is a perfect square, and x squared is also a perfect square, we can rewrite this as 5 times x times the square root of 2 in standard form. In the third one, we have the square root of 6 divided by 25. Looking at the numerator and denominator separately, we have a perfect square in the denominator, which is 25. Then we have the square root of 6, which cannot be simplified in the numerator. Altogether, we have the square root of 6 divided by 5. Along the bottom, we need to simplify the product. Let's start by organize all of our numerical factors, followed by our variables. Since we have 3 factors of x, followed by 3 factors of x, altogether, we have 6 factors of x. Neither 20 nor 15 are perfect squares, so we'll write them as their factors. The square root of 4 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 3. The square root of x to the 6 can be rewritten as x to the 3rd. There are three groups of x squared in x to the 6. The square root of 4 is a perfect square, which is 2, and since I have two factors of the square root of 5, that's like saying I have the square root of 25, since 5 times 5 is 25. The square root of 25 is a perfect square, which simplifies to 5. When I put all my factors together, I have 2 times 5 times x to the third power times the square root of 3. This will be 10x to the third times the square root of 3. For the fifth item, we're asked to simplify the sum 3 times the square root of 5 plus the square root of 5. Since I'm talking about the square root of 5 in both terms, I can combine these as like terms. I have 3 square roots of 5 and 1 square root of 5, which make a total of 4 square roots of 5. In the last question, it asks to simplify the sum. Again, I have negative 2 times the square root of 12 plus 3 times the square root of 8. Since the square root of 12 and the square root of 8 are not like terms, I'll need to simplify them as much as possible. I can write 12 as 4 times 3, and I can write 8 as 4 times 2. The square root of 4 is a perfect square. I can simplify that in each term. Next, I'll go back and multiply all of my remaining factors. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 or negative 4 times the square root of 3. Plus, I have 3 times 2 times the square root of 2, or 6 times the square root of 2. Since the square root of 3 and the square root of 2 are not like terms, I cannot combine any further.